one more, guys. Safe to say I'm a little bit calmer than I was last night. Uh, a lot calmer than I was last night. Clemson beats Oklahoma back to back, just like I told you. I mean, everything went about like I said it would go. Uh, Oklahoma just doesn't have the talent across the board to keep up with Clemson. It should have been a much bigger blowout than it was. Uh, we could not take advantage. So, so many field goals that should have been touchdowns. I mean, Clemson could have put up 50 easily uh, if they had just executed. But, I, I mean, the second half was an absolute domination. I was scared at halftime, 17-16. But these boys came through and dominated the second half, winning the second half 21 to nothing, and we're going to the natty. I, I'm I'm – I'm not going to lie. I I love my Clemson Tigers. And I've always had faith in them, but I just never I never just fathomed us actually making it to the national championship. Uh it just it was something that just was a dream. I mean, it was just a dream. Even, you know, in 2013, I that was the most confident I'd ever been. Still going into this year, the 2013 year was the most confident that I'd ever been at the chance of winning a national championship. And then we come out this year with Deshaun Watson and the confidence levels of this team are just, we know we're going to, we walk into every game knowing, you know, Hey, they might keep it close. They might put up a fight, but we're going to be the ones winning in the fourth quarter. And we're the ones that are going to dominate the fourth quarter and win the game. And we've done that for the most part this year. The Notre Dame game being the only excluded game there where we didn't dominate in the fourth quarter and uh, still found a way to get it done. So this game, we came out, and, you know, just dominated on the offensive side of the ball all night, except for when we got into the red zone in the first half. Um, we moved the ball at will. You know, Gallman and Watson, who's going to stop them? Who's going to stop them? Y'all aren't going to – they weren't going to stop them, let's be honest. Clemson just had more talent. We were just more talented. And then uh, we executed better in the second half and pulled away. I uh, still think Oklahoma's a great team, you know, uh, I still think they by far deserve to be in the playoff. You know, they were definitely one of the top four teams in the country. They should have been the three seed. I still stand behind that argument that Oklahoma is much better than Michigan State. Uh, but it, it was just a, a, the defense when rested. I told y'all when they were rested, they come out here and play lights out. They were rested. They came out and they played lights out. You know, we even lost our best defensive player. And, you know, Mackenzie Alexander was hurt, too. He, he got shaken up. Our two best defensive players shaken up. And the defense still dominated, still put Baker Mayfield on his back all night, like I said we would. Uh, you know, it's, it's this Brent Venables team. He, hey, Brent Venables, he owns Oklahoma now. Uh, you know, back to back, you can say it now. Brent Venables owns Oklahoma at Clemson. And uh, such an upgrade. I, it sucks that y'all y'all had to get the other stoops for your defensive coordinator because, hey, Venables, he's the best D, one of the best DCs in the country right now and uh, completely turned us around. By the way, LOL Auburn, I'm, I'm loving the fact that y'all got Kevin Steele. Can't wait to put up 50 points on y'all next year, but we'll get to that next year. Um, man, just just a, a dominant second half. It's just, uh, it, it was a surreal, it was a surreal moment seeing us. Find, it's going to be so surreal when that national championship starts. It's going to be so surreal. And the video battles between Alabama and Clemson. Let's be honest, that's what everybody wanted. That it's it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Uh, Savage all tied. Everybody getting at it. Can't wait for those to start up. As far as the Alabama game went, I was obviously impressed by Alabama uh, yesterday. They came out and they played lights out and dominated from the uh, beginning of the game to the end. You know they complete. I mean, just completely obliterated Michigan State every aspect of that game. Uh, of course, Michigan State and Clemson are about as different of teams as you can get. And Clemson matches up amazingly, amazingly with Alabama. In no way, shape, or form am I scared or should Clemson be intimidated by Alabama. Alabama's going to bring it. They're a great team. But uh, I, th I still think Clemson's better. I mean, uh, we, we're a more complete team than Alabama. Uh, Alabama's got a great defense. Their offense is, you know, when playing a good, great sport, Fast defense, let's be honest. Michigan State's a bunch of uh, slower defensive players. Uh, they, they're just big men. They're tough, but they're not, they're not a fast team. Michigan State's not a fast team. Clemson is faster than just about anybody Alabama saw this year. Our offense is better than Ole Miss's. Our defense is better than Ole Miss's. And, uh, you know, if Ole Miss can beat you, then Clemson certainly can beat you. 
Uh, so it, it it is what it is. It's gonna be it's gonna be a great game. Um, it could be one of the classic national championship games. You know, I could see it coming down to a kick at the end or something like that. Because honestly, Clemson and Alabama, in my opinion, are pretty. They're they're pretty they're pretty close. I mean, and the BCS would have gotten it right this year. Obviously, I still like the playoffs much better than the BCS, but it would have gotten it right this year, one and two in the national championship game. Clemson trying to be the first team ever in college football uh, FBS history to go fifteen and zero, and uh, we're already what only the sixth team ever to go fourteen and zero from the Power Five, I think. So, uh, so just. This team has just surpassed expectations so much, so much. It's been it's been a heck of a ride for Clemson this year. Win or lose this national championship, it's been an amazing year. And you know, I felt like the the Orange Bowl it would have been pretty disappointing had we gone thirteen and zero and lost the first game of the playoff. But it just feels amazing to win that uh, to win that Orange Bowl again, second Orange Bowl win in the last three years, beating Ohio State and Oklahoma. Uh, just you know, you can't say Clemson's not there now. You can't say Clemson's not there. We're not in the upper echelon of college football. We've we've earned our way to the top, and we've got one more game to win before you can start to, you know, say that Clemson is working towards a dynasty uh, if we can get back to the playoffs next year uh, and see what we can do there. And then in the following years, I mean, Clemson is working. I'm not saying we're anywhere near one yet. We haven't even won a national championship yet. But we've got all the pieces in place. So let's just go out there and get us a natty title. And, you know, that that alone would be amazing. I mean, let's, let's be honest. This is what all the teams work for, you know, when you're talking about all these coaching changes, when you're talking about all this stuff. Oh, this guy's going to do this. You know, look at the recruits we're going to be able to get with this guy. This is what the ultimate goal is when you do all that. It's years in the making for a lot of programs, not Alabama, but a lot of programs. It's years in the making and just a dream. And Clemson's there now. We're there. We're finally to that national championship game, uh, finally playing for a national championship for the first time since my parents were in uh, college and high school. So it's it's just uh, something that I'm trying to sit back and let soak in uh, how amazing this really is for Clemson to be here in this position. and. 10 days, just they need to go by quick. Go Tigers.